Maya was last seen back in January, and as we mentioned, although her husband was arrested today, her body has not been found. The investigation into her disappearance came just days after she vanished more than nine months ago. Our team coverage continues with Phil Blauer around the table with a look at, well, how we got here. Well, Kathleen, there's been no let up in this case by law enforcement, and as you hear from the community in the nine months since Maya was last seen, it's a case which gained national and even worldwide attention. Before today's arrest, Chula Vista police had interviewed 87 people in connection with Maya's disappearance, and they followed up on nearly 130 tips. They also had written 66 search warrants, including three served at the Millete home and one at a relative's house. Maya's husband, Larry, was named a person of interest in this case back in late July. Maya Miliette was last seen at about 5 p.m. on January 7th near her Chula Vista home. Her family said at the time it was possible that she went hiking, but then they never heard from her after. Her car remained in the driveway and her phone was turned off. Two weeks later, a prayer service was held for Maya and her husband, Larry, was not in attendance. Nearly a month later, Chula Vista police said Larry got an attorney and was no longer answering police questions or cooperating with the investigation. A new billboard on Maya's disappearance went up on Main Street in Chula Vista on February 23rd to help generate leads from the public and also to assist law enforcement. About 150 volunteers scoured Lower Otai Lakes on March 14th by foot and with the help of drones and boats, hoping for some sort of break in the case. Two weeks later, Maya's sister announced that her sister had set up an appointment with a lawyer to begin the divorce process on the same day that she went missing and had asked her for $10,000 that same week. Maya was set to meet the lawyer January 12th, but never arrived. On May 1st, Maya's friends and family came together on her 40th birthday at Fiesta Island Park to try to celebrate a very emotional milestone. A week later, another search warrant was served at the Miette home. Authorities spent seven hours at the property. The couple's three children were there as well. On May 10th, a gun restraining order was filed against Larry, showing he had eight firearms registered in his name. It was believed he was in possession or control of another 14 guns. And in a nearly 80-page court filing on June 16th, Larry argued his treatment by police, the local media, and public threats created a toxic environment for him and his children. On July 26th, in text messages to Fox 5 News, Larry said he posed no threat to anybody and that his Second Amendment rights to defend himself and his kids were being violated. And once again, we have a very detailed timeline on the disappearance of Maya. All you have to do is go to our website at fox5sandiego.com. Kathleen? All right, Phil, thank you.